Uh, yeah, it went from two to one, dude. Two to one turbo technology. We're here at World Cup. It is Wednesday. We got a lot of changes to the car here. Very, very, very exciting. All right, big ass turbo. So we switched out the turbos to be class legal. This is the turbo we were talking that we were been waiting on. Or this maybe is the actually talk about this. experimental 94. This is the experimental 94. So you can Which tell. Which is not experimental. They just—they're not debuting it until PRI. Right. So this is. This is you a ain't got. You ain't got one. You ain't got one. Uh, other than that, we put the single turbo stuff back on it, which is from the car from previously. The back end got the new wing, the mass fab. Did. Okay, I see the wing. I didn't want to make one, and it's really beautiful. Nice, so Absolutely went and, beautiful. Went and bought that. Awesome. And I'm seeing some changes back here as well. Uh, we changed the puke tank. We changed the lid. We redid the. Well, the hatch is painted now. Yep. As are the doors. But then the doors are. We redone the doors. So now the doors. The doors are. The doors are removable. So how do you get? Oh, okay, I see. That's so the handle. Our door handles here. You ever seen this, Jamie? Carbon doors, baby. Yep. Oh so yeah. You just pop them off. Hell yeah. Let's see the inside. The inside, I really didn't clean up. But the carbon. I mean, whatever. It's still carbon. Carbon's carbon. Warriors were Stray Quartos, the class we're in. Talk about we the tires. We switch. Uh, so these are the tires we always run, but we haven't been able to get them from Mickey Thompson. So the tires we've been testing on are the little Bubba's, just because that's all we could get. But this is what we normally run. It's a 33 10.5W. Okay. So it's what we run in our class race when we run 10.5 Outlaw at Milan, but we just haven't been able to do it because we don't have the tire. Right. I mean, I literally ordered that since March. Now. I mean, wow. we've been waiting since March. For that. And luckily it just happened to come right when we needed it. So. Thanks, COVID. Uh, we got to go to tech. And then ideally sign up early for testing and get a hit in today. What do you think? Oh, I need to, we need a hit because I need to know if we need to, what we got to do the four lap. All right, done. Let's we'll do make it. it happen. Let's do it. All right. So yeah, like anybody who's anybody, 316 speed, RG, the whole team is here. Garrett's going to be all set up down over here. We got Jamie from PFI. We got Brent from PFI. A lot of big dogs in the drag racing YouTuber name are all here. And, uh, and all the big dogs that are on YouTube are here as well. So this is just next level, next level stuff. <laughs> Throwing right to the wolves, bud. Yeah, I found ourselves in another one of these situations where I'm just thinking, how the hell did we get here? But here we are, let's just do it. Yep. Okay, early registration, paid for, we're paid in. For. 200 bucks, cash, gone. Uh, first time in the car with carbon doors, this is a big deal. There she is. Concerns about this tech inspection, or you think we're pretty clean? I mean, we should be fine. Good. Everything's up to up to date, so right, right, right. It's been to this, it's been to this tech inspection before, so it really just depends on how picky they want. Yeah, it's still got the old sticker on it, so should be good. Get this done and uh, whew, make a hit. All right, boys, you just heard over the tower. We got three hours remaining in testing. This is Wednesday, the first day. Uh, tech inspection is pretty serious. This is a real serious event. There's money on the line. There's a lot of competition. So uh, they got to check a few things. The main thing in this class is the 94 millimeter turbo. You got that precision Gen 3, freaking ain't nobody else got a turbo. Hell yeah, hell yeah. There she is, so he's checking the size on it right now, making sure we're good on our turbo size for the class. Other than that, safety stuff's been looked at, all uh, cleared to go on that, so. A little go-no-go -go gauge. You've been there, yeah. Doug. We're in, yep. I know about that stuff. We're going to get in lanes five and six and do a little dry racing, man. First hit on the small tires, first hit on the single turbo. Like, it's a big deal. We got a lot to make it's sure of here. Deal. So I think the plan is uh, Don took a little bit of sauce out of it. Only 50 uh, pounds of boost. I sauced it down. Yeah, it's 50. Well, it's 40. Remember, we're targeting ways. We talk about the boost. We're talking about what we're targeting on the CO2, not the actual boost. If we're targeting 40, it might make 30 more. see on the screen. That's what you get when you do high-end stuff. I know, Nothing don't worry. Nothing really matters. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Yep, yep, yep. That's what we needed right there. Green light go. Yes. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's get a good in, good hit in here. Get everybody settled down. Get everybody comfortable. Get this first one out of the way. This is quite the stage to be on already, even though it's just testing. A lot of pressure here on Leo, but there we go. There we go. We got this. But you know, uh, I let it leave it a little bit too much boost, and it kind of started to let the tire loose. Yeah, it just couldn't recover. Right, right. That's okay though. I mean, we got through. We got the car up there. We got it fired up, staged it, made the hit. I was going to go kind of straight. Right. I don't know what happened. All right, buddy. Well, it maybe did it shift into third on its own? Maybe. Um, what happened is, uh, I shifted in the third and then knocked it in the neutral. Yeah, like that's idiot. fine. Which is okay. It's okay because it would have, well, it would have exploded if it was mad, so it's probably fine. Right. It spun at zero to ten. Awesome. Okay. Zero to ten was the best zero to ten we ever had. Point okay. Point seven. Okay. On the dragging, and then just after ten, it immediately. Died. Well, and then lit. Yeah. Lit the tire up. But it's a brand, it's a brand new tire, so the brand new tire, it needs like one or two hits before it'll do anything. It was really close. Okay, pushing her up for the next hit. So. Uh, what, we are bringing the boost in a little bit slower on this one? We're just ramping it in because it comes on so much faster than the twins that it was unmanageable. It, just, yeah. it blew right past where it would have been before. Yeah. Even with us leaving harder. Okay, okay. So we're trying to control that ramp a little bit, maybe a little tire pressure adjustment. Yeah, we took a, took a bunch of that out just to, just to kind of see what it would do. into a 760. Not sure what happened in the left lane here. Something bad went down. Might have to back him out. Dang it. If there weren't enough pressure already on this next test hit, we just happened to be lined up. <laughs> this freaking broke on. That could go down through there at 280 miles an hour. This is ridiculous, but it's probably a good thing to just, uh, you know, feel the heat. Get it out of the way right now. Nice job, Leo. That was excellent. All right, ProMod's coming in. Everybody's watching. Leo's just got to concentrate on what he's doing here. Trying to drive, try to drive his lane. stuff nice job you know, the good thing about that pass too is weird stuff happened yeah. like we have weird little there was pauses too much going on there i expected that to be completely heft <laughs> that was good actually it broken cool. down car he stalled can't get in the beam he's never even bumped before yeah that's the first time you ever hit the bump on the field and i hit it i said i don't know if it works right <laughs> got through it man got through it All right. let's go Let's go! Leo, second, second brother, guess, guess. yes! Can I, uh, I just get a hell yeah on that one, dude? Hell yeah! It's just flat, smooth. 
didn't rock around. It's getting real close to knocking off the tire about 100 foot out though. Hey, it felt real great to me. Close. I was just telling Doug. It starts Doug. watching the tire just a little bit. And okay. the hit, it can still take more. Yeah, no, the hit Not felt great. I was just telling him it was so fast, it fell slow. Let's go, Perfect. let's That's go to good. the time. Perfect, yep. Fast, fast. Okay, okay, okay. Getting into the light here. Don's already revealing the secrets off camera. He doesn't, he doesn't understand the YouTube. He didn't get the YouTube. Guys, he's too jacked. He's too excited. Everybody just relax. Everybody calm chill. down. Chill, chill. I'm actually the only one really excited right now. Maybe. Whew. Oh, you got dragon data? I do. What do you want to look at first? I don't, the real, this Point is one, five to ten. Well, just, let's just look at the damn number here. All right. Let's start with so, the quarter. From our perspective, it looked like our best pass to date. This is the first time we put a little boost to it. Okay. So, when I say put a little boost to it, that was about eight pounds more than we ran at the mile on, okay. on, on our heat sure. All right. And we okay. left way less RPM level. Let's okay. start with quarter, because I let out Quarter will be slow. Quarter was a 7 8. Hey. And the 8 was not fast. Really? Really? Interesting. Oh, I was jacked on that run. It, felt, it was a 488. Shut up. Really? They're only 150. You sure you took it to the 8? 60 foot, not good either. Okay. Oh, 119. Early the next morning. Full power. That's the real man's unit right there, Hellcat, baby. Let's go, uh, yeah. Thursday morning, World Cup final. Steve, what's happening today, bud? Man, what's Hey, that said oh, Steve, okay. oh, dude. I, just, I can't uh, hear you. Uh, sorry. It's a cluster already. <laughs> <laughs> so we got set up this super nice Blackstone grill like you do when you're at a race. Yeah. But we forgot the propane. So now we're on a mission to get propane, maybe some tongs. Yeah, yeah, I'd get some tongs as well. So we're also going to sign up for the early bird testing again today. So that'll be fun. Uh, yeah, all sorts of good stuff. Look at this. Supra. Wait, is that Supra? What Supra? Supra? Is that Supra? Oh, is that Supra? Oh. That meme is basically the only reason why I was really interested in driving the Supra. <laughs> Well boys, test two day is a little bit different than test one day. So test two day, it's not a free for all. Test and tune, uh, they're calling you up by your basically tire and drive combination. So right now front wheel drive and all wheel drive are going up. Okay, here we go, rolling her up. Day two, first test it. We're still in the open testing session. Uh, a lot of brain power has gone into the car overnight yeah, and this looking, morning. Looking at everything overnight, going over the data. We made not massive swings, but we made some corrections. I think we saw yesterday they were wrong. Uh, with the smaller tire, things happening differently. We had to back down uh, a, a way that the internal dump valves and stuff were working that I had missed and thrown it off. It was causing us issues on the starting line, but no, uh, that was a simple fix. It was just a matter of looking at where it was and changing that. And then uh, now we've gotten to the point now where we're going to start to put a little power into it. We're going to start to put a little timing back into it. And uh, hopefully we didn't guess wrong. We're gonna go find out. <laughs> Leo is looking at good in here. Calm, collective, hey, thanks, confident. Inside I am dying. Yeah, that's uh, I, I, that's to be expected. On the outside, just a regular fat <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Very well done again. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Dang it. Okay. Overshot her there big time. Overshot her. It's kind of what we thought might happen once we fixed it. The dump valve was opening and closing. That we were concerned that the converter would hit harder, and yep. it clearly did. Clear. <laughs> yeah, converter pressure was real low, obviously, there. Well, we'll see, but it looks like it's probably much higher. It hit the tire super hard. One eternity later, you could say things are getting a bit serious. We just rolled up to the staging lanes for qualifier number one. So, there's more of these to come over the next couple days, but in these qualifying rounds. This is where you got to run a time that gets you in the show. It's a 32 car field. There's 42 cars here trying to enter the class. So considering cars will break, 
should be very achievable. I think if we get one decent run, we'll probably be in. I, I agree. So there's not a ton of pressure yet, uh, but now is the time where we actually got to attempt to make a full pass. And we're in a, this position again where we found some issues, fixed them, affects the tune pretty significantly. So we're still kind of guessing on the on the tune. We got some new stuff in here. Uh, not super sure what it's going to do, but we're about to see. Okay, finally, after another one. blew off the car tough tough break right there uh we're not gonna worry about that too much we'll figure that out for all the anticipation i'll be honest with you right in the moment after all the anticipation when the car goes straight and it goes fast it just feels good like it's really not that scary you all right you all right i got a phrase i want to say hold on <laughs> Quarter mile, Leo, dude. I think I said I, I think I said this in the moment, but if not, ejecto window, cuz. <laughs> ejecto window, cuz. Hmm. There's some there's some sizzling going on in the exhaust. All right. Something else. Okay. Bring it over here and tell me the quarter mile, cause I have no idea. Don't you want to see the slip instead? Yeah. Well, you guys already all saw it and reacted to it. All right, fine. I'm just sorry. make you wait. Just oh. make you wait. It was really cool. It felt great. Uh, felt that was great. badass to watch. Yeah. Very, very jacked. Super great fast. job. I slept on the line hard. All right. Because uh, qualifying. Just couldn't really see it that well, but you did a great job. Continuing to stay in it after the window uh, just exploded out of the car. Great job. I don't think you understand how quickly the window exploded in the quarter mile was over. In it to We're win it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go get this slip. All right. We've got some issues to assess. I don't, feel, I don't feel great about it because a lot of damage here is a really important, expensive door that are cooked, as well as that Prussian pan side panel. So. Uh, yeah, that sucks. It was not uh, your doing. This is things we got to sort out. You drove the car, you did what you're supposed to do. More importantly. Right lane. <laughs> Talk it out. That's incredible, Talk dude. Basically, incredible. Basically, <laughs> sevens, dude. Right, <laughs> right down in there. Six ninety-eight, two hundred. Two hundred four. Two hundred. I mean, I went two hundred, Daddy. You went two hundred. You went sixes in the quarter Steve. mile. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> dude. We went and just went ahead and dodged that all the way. 
I mean, that is something that people fight for a very, very long time to do over a lot of years. We got a lot of power left. Dude, like I mean, the eighth was not even fast. A 460 at 165? 460 in the eighth, like, really okay. not even that fast. Yeah, the 60 foot wasn't good. Yeah, the 60 foot was garbage, 117. Yeah. Still, you can tell it top ended hard. This car used to go 104, 105. We're talking 680s at that level. Plugs are all still in it, right? All right, yep. so data looks all good. All right, go ahead. We're good. That sounds fine. Well, boys, we got plugs. Looks like a plug. Yeah, I don't see anything in there that really jumps out at me yet. That's a six second car, not burning plugs, but 189 cubic inches. Well, they've seen Leo Fab. Have they seen Butterfab? I don't know I want my name on this, to be honest. It's pretty <laughs> jank. <laughs> it's a little bit of a plan B, maybe. Given a set of craftsman tools and a very poor asphalt surface, you're doing a great job. It's amazing what we can accomplish. Yeah, that is absolutely true. And then, uh, yeah, this is the window. It's all cooked. This is a surround. It's all cooked. Brent, you saw what happened. Did you see my run? I did. I have the top end in my camera. That's why it's really tough to nice. Yes. Yeah. Six ninety eight, baby. It was beautiful. I was pumped, man. Wow, want some Doritos? Celebrate. I'd love to have a Dorito with you. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. We're gonna cheers them. Okay, so plugs look good. Just put a fresh set in. Got them all gapped up. Everything's plugged back in. We're gonna fire this thing up. See what she sounds like. Come on, baby. Oh. I think it sounds fine. Early the next morning. Woo! Alright boys, things have really heated up here. Steve, the tire was cooked last night. We got that figured out. Yeah, we did get tired. So that was gonna be the big challenge of today. Yes, we got sir. some doors in. I don't know if you covered that yet. I haven't covered anything, so this is what happened. Uh, Don's friend Frank brought the original Super Doors down from Ohio to Maryland. That was like a nine hour trip. And we got these fresh tires from the Mickey Thompson booth. Brand new. Same uh, rollout, same everything, this should be perfect. And uh, we're getting these off right now. It's a DB lock up and put them on. They got a little tire change station here. All sorts of good stuff going on. That's the freshest Milwaukee I've ever seen. Real nice. We're ready to go. We're gonna yeah. get this done in like an hour and just be ready to rip. Wow, so, okay, I don't know about that, but we'll do our best. To have me. I'll help. Well boys, we have eaten, everybody else has eaten. We uh, have made it pretty friggin' far here, guys. So it was all hands on deck. Here's what happened. Doors on, stock doors ready to roll. We don't have the trim piece, so it looks a little bunk, but not a crazy big deal. We got brand new tires from Mickey Thompson, 800 bucks. They had the exact set that we needed. We're gonna have to do a giant burnout to make them sticky again. Doug's torqued them. We went crazy hard torquing the beadlock bolts, and now we're repacking the chutes. And hell, maybe we even make the first test session. Okay, car is together, players are on. Air pressure is good, everything's packed in the back. We got the new battery in, she's iced up, wheels running her through the first heat cycle right now, putting some heat in the motor, you know. Wow. Rolling through the pits on a Friday. Uh, she's lined up and look who we've got. Just a well, this few is cars import. This is import versus domestic, right? Yep. So we got our import. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Dang, six club over here. Six club. Like you. This race, so. Well, that's, that's 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 ten points. Curtis Brown, James Wall will lead it off. Again, these bikes really legal. High boost, Suzuki high boost is the most of them anyway in the category. Okay. okay. And again, the world record for speed was set here last year by Greg Wall. Two hundred thirty. No, this eight. Wow. Let off. Miles an hour. Big you got this. Bring it out. I'm going to be quiet. I can make it to the eighth. I'm going to make it to the quarter. Insane. <laughs> you don't care about quality. Can I ask Greg Wolf the run? He's like, well, we got four eh, runs ahead of us. I know so better. Sure. That's not exactly what he said. Eight that's miles a day, first. maybe running out tomorrow. All right, but we only smart. get so many lockups, dude. That's, oh, that's oh, a good point. Yeah. That's a good point. We don't have any lockups. We got unlimited lockups. That's true. We made that up. I believed him. Like 16 rounds? No, dude. Oh, 
fans converters. So let's get ready for Let's go, Fuck, it's game time here for Orange Press for Platinum Sisters and Drug Free Bikes. I just cooked burgers and then I didn't wash my hands. Thanks for making us some. <laughs> oh, oh, brutal. Okay, here we go. Let's stick. Stick for us. There it is. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Uh, well, we were afraid of that. Not a huge surprise. Still a bummer, but uh, that's all right. They should work better next time. Expected. Dang it, brother. Much you can do. All right, buddy. She spun the tires. Spun the tires. We were expecting it a bit, like Doug just said to me a minute ago, and I've copied what he said. Um, That's good. It, tr it The car tried, right? You felt like it tried a little bit? The car tried a little bit. It was to the point where I was going to get out of it and go back in, but when I checked the shifter, it was already in third, so it went... Oh, gosh. Destroyed the tires. Oh, gosh. Oh, what do you think of What, the tires? Just in general with the run. Uh, I just thought I'd say it's got some new side tires. Yeah. But despite that, despite not, you know, getting a good run, there's something on the slip. It's very good. It's very positive. What? It's recycled paper. Take a look. There's a number on there that's really good. It's the one that looks like the dog. Oh, the rainbow. reaction time? Yeah. Yeah, no, I was on the light on that one. You were on it. I, I can do that every single time. Like that is a competitive yeah. reaction time. So I can do that every time. I can, it's it's so weird when I take off before someone else. I'm like, what the hell are they doing? <laughs> like, but yeah, I can do that every time. So if, if this is good, 07 is good. We'll do that next time. We'll, we'll take look at the it. Data. We'll take yeah. it. We're gonna build a we're gonna build a safety curve into it now so it can't annihilate the tire. Okay. Something's gotta happen because when it goes in the third like that, I feel like let's say in a situation where we're in a race and both people burn the tires off and it's automatically in the third, I'm not gonna be able to downshift and catch back up and try to like. Yeah, right. You always have to abort the run at that point. Yeah. Unless it's like if you were to look up, you're in third gear and you see that guy just broke, just mad it. Oh yeah, I like would just come back on. It's gonna light up and it's gonna go slow, but it's gonna go. Well, one cool thing about an event this size is that uh, they actually are engineers from Precision here to look at the turbo. So this is uh, it's an experimental unit doing experimental stuff. Right. Just you know, let us know if this thing's gonna definitely explode or not. If it's not, yeah, we'll go. We'll go. Here we go again. Qualifier number three. We're pushing up in the staging lanes right now. Sun's getting a little warmer. Temperatures are coming down. I'll bet the track's improving. We've got tires that are broken in. Cars are in prep, ready to go. Uh, we put a little, say, I say we. Don put a little bit of something, sort of like traction control in it. So it doesn't completely blow the tires off. But really think she's just gonna stick this time and uh, do something cool. So wait her turn and hit her. Man, every time, every time it feels like we just get pulled up to the water box and one of the cars in the pair right in front of us has an issue and has to push back. <laughs> it's time. Okay, okay. That was really good, I think. He's good. So that's all 
that matters. Fuel's in the front. I can't see anything. It ain't fuel, it's water. I, know, just I can't I can't see to get pulled yeah, off the yeah. truck. Are you good? It didn't get in here, right? Oh, I'm soaked with water. It's just water. All right, dude. We're okay. on, dude. Hey, Garrett. What are you doing? Uh, I just want... I was getting hot. So it's got a feature where you hit the chutes and the water just comes at you. Oh. It's a pretty cool feature. Well, good job not crashing. Oof. We need to get down track. It looks like there's some smoke down there. Let me see this. They said there was cleanup, but it was shut down. Ah, down shoot. There. Okay, we got to get down there. It might be an issue. Oh, boy. I don't like what we're seeing down there. Oh, something happened here. Buddy, what's up? What kind of what kind of water tank did you put in this thing? Oh, no, dude. I'm you're, so, you're so I'm so happy. As soon as we hit the chute, all the water from the tank came right through the car. Really? It went down my neck. Something let go, though, in third gear. Oh, my gosh. OK. But, uh, yeah, we're good. Thumbnail man, you got me a thumbnail. Wow, you're good though. Oh, this tight. You're dude. good. Okay. I was getting hot, honestly. Whew. Gosh dang. Saw the smoke. Got real nervous. Nah, we're good. All right, all right, Something's all right. Good, good job. Come on. Good job. All right, so Jamie made a great point over here. So uh, you're driving a car that just went 200 miles an hour, and you're trying to turn off the track. Yeah, I couldn't see a thing. It's completely steamed. Couldn't actually see. So, luckily the water in the water tank doesn't get hot. Uh, a methanol car, you know, but uh, it was totally steamed, so I couldn't see. Not trying to be a pussy or nothing, dude. You know the deal. <laughs> Y'all are nuts. I don't know. Open it up. That's just my guess. Caps off or fills off or something. Oh, my God. Yeah, tank. Exploded, man. So that's why it came out at pressure. Yeah. That's why you took a shower in the car. I was getting stinky straight up. You were talking about not bad. <laughs> uh, you should see the back end of it. It burst. So the theory here is that essentially the block burnt. There's the head gasket doesn't have water, so that's not going to be a problem. Uh, block burn a hole, and uh, it pressurized the entire water system, and the only place for that pressure to go is into the water tank, and then into my neck. Wow! Look at it! Look at the hole! Look at the hole in the bottom! Holy crap! What's crazy is that uh, it was all behind the tires, which is good, but it must have shot out, hit, hit the hatch, and then went forward. Jesus. Lucky nice. that water doesn't get hot. Seriously. Because that would have hurt. That is just an enormous amount of pressure. Basically, yeah. all of the pressure of a Pro Mod 94 just blowing into an aluminum tank. I'll tell you, aluminum tank said no thanks. Bud. You're good, bud. You're good. So Don's looking at some data now. I guess we'll figure out what happened. They haven't made a run since. I feel bad about that. Yeah, I mean, this is not, I mean, the thing was on a pull. You were doing an enormously high speed, and then it just evacuated 10 gallons instantly. Yeah, it was great run, man. Doug held the camera steady straight the whole time. Yeah. Legend, dude. <laughs> yeah, I did. I thought it was an awesome pass, and it was until that moment that it wasn't. It happened like, right, it happened in third. It happened in third. Off, I felt off it. Off the line, off the line, it was phenomenal. Yeah, I felt it happen in third. So we're finding out the head gasket is gone. Oh, there she is. Where is it at, Josh? Right there. Oh, yep. yep. Son of a... Cut the wire. Well, ideally the block's not screwed. So we're about to look at the onboard footage from this run. Of the water bath. <laughs> of Leo's sauna. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh. Boys, the current plan is to take the cylinder head off. We're working on that. We got all the cold side stuff off. Uh, we got the downpipe off. Uh, currently working on the fuel pump. So, what I'm at now is like an absolute doesn't really the downside. Come on now. Anybody need to swap out? I can move hands. Got it. Go ahead and go. Good. We're good. You're good. Hold up. Hold up. Go. 
So torchied the head. Uh, that would be my guess. Oh, based on the ring. Ow, yeah. Yeah, there's gonna be aluminum on the head missing. Yeah, you can see it in the pistons. Yeah, you were right about the firing. That's why I still had compression. Why is that moving so much? Math. Super has left uh, the outside and now it's about to enter the building, so we don't exactly know what's going to happen. Well, a long time ago, a long time ago, we went to one of these places. We said it was a piece of sheet. Turns out the food is good here. Food was good. Food was what we needed after a long day. Long day of taking 2J heads off, grilling burgs. A lot to talk about. Don, what happened? Yeah, we had, a, we had a call it quits, unfortunately. You're going to see the footage of us taking the head off. We uh, all kind of made the decision together that trying to fix it half, you know, crap is uh, probably not in our best interest to take the risk. As far as we're away right now racing, we're just going to call it quits. You know, we burned a hole. Uh, the fire ring moved out from the combustion chamber. We burned a hole where the head is welded shut, which pressurized the cooling system, which ejected it on Leo. Ejecto coolant, cuz. <laughs> so I don't have the I don't have the better firings here. Nobody is going to have the stuff that I have because I, ha I make it, and there's just no easy way to fix it. And you know, there's still many other variables here. The front end's now apparently broken. Oh yeah. The block, you know, now that we've been running it the entire time, he's been driving it. We probably should look at it, and make sure it doesn't need something else. And you know, from that point, that standpoint, it, it was just call it quits, lick our wounds, regroup for the next time, which is, you know, it's gonna be the spring now. Right. But uh, there's a bunch of revisions, there's a bunch of things I wanna do, uh, there's things I wanna change, and I'm gonna do the same thing like, did, like I did last winter, or I just pick away at it during the winter, and at the end of the day, we've got uh, we've got it sorted out, we'll be ready to go in the spring. I think calling it quits today, unfortunately, is probably the right call. The car is proving that it's capable of going insanely fast. I mean, you went yeah. to sixes today, which is incredible. And the car is still, you know, under limitations that we put on it. Um, it's got a ton in it. And I, my biggest thing from the last couple of days is that I came away feeling like we can absolutely do this. Oh, we yeah. the World Cup Finals, and we were getting it done. We were absolutely qualified. We felt like we should be there. I felt like we could handle it, and we could be competitive. So I don't think it's a good idea to uh, risk the program further. I think we've got yep. plenty of improvements that we know how to make, and we can, we can rip. I mentioned we went, we went back to back. Leo went back to back, 690s yep. at 205 mile an hour. Not too many people are going to be able to say they did that on their second quarter mile pass. <laughs> yeah, bracket car, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's wild. Like, the car is fast as hell. Yeah, and in a setting like that, in that atmosphere where there's just this insane number of crazy cars, you know, it, it adjusts your frame of reference a little bit. But when you step back for a second, think about how fast you just went back That's to nuts. back. Uh, with a car that's been totally redone. We didn't get nearly the amount of time testing that we'd like. You didn't right. get nearly the amount of seat time that you'd like. Like that was a heck of an achievement right. in itself. So I say we walk away with our heads held high and uh, we go at her again. At this point, we've been gone for like two weeks already. <laughs> like we got I need to go home, I'm dude. Good. Dead, dead, but uh, just absolutely awesome experience. Like really proud we got here and competed and were a part of it and uh, wouldn't be able to do it without you guys. Of course, wouldn't be able to do it with Don, right? We would never be in a situation like this uh, without this guy's knowledge, experience, and uh, willing to just do something cool with guys that are trying to figure out how to do cool stuff. So huge thanks to Don and Josh and all of you guys for being a part of it. Like telling you, incredible experience yeah. we just had. So if you're supporting us by watching these videos, subscribe and donate on Patreon or buying the parts, or buying the merch, or buying through the Rocky Mountain link. Just thank you guys, yep. seriously. Like, pretty blown away, that was super cool. It's a wild experience, and I uh, look forward to more of it, I guess. Uh, I mean, it's gonna be on our schedule for next year, for sure. 
Yeah, dude. And yeah. we'll have plenty of have time. To. We won't have to play this monkey business around with qualifying ahead of time. We already have qualifying time now for next year. Yeah, we're good. We're yeah, already in the already show. We're already qualified for a faster class, which we won't run a faster class. We'll run this class for next yeah. year. We don't have to mess around with it now. So now we can go out instead of trying to chase our tails and figure out how to make it work from scratch. Now we have something. Yeah. We would have we went 660, 670, some sweet numbers. Yeah. Talk about it. But it just wasn't meant to be this time. Well, it was meant to be this time, but it's definitely damn well meant to be next time. We'll be back. We'll, we'll be out there. March, gonna be, April, May. We're yeah, going to be ripping. It's going to be brutal. Be freaking brutal. Thanks, Don. Love yep. you, buddy. Bye.